This chapter shows how to prepare the restaurant in a formal style. First, check the table to make sure it's not wobbly and that the base is level. Start with a clean, starched and iron tablecloth, which should be folded lengthways, in other words, long and thin. Carefully unfold the cloth halfway, take care that the seams on the cloth are on the underside and then place it over half the table. Smoothly pull the remainder of the cloth to cover the table. And allow the same amount of overhang on each side of the table. Creases in the cloth should all face the same direction on all the tables. Then take the correct number of chairs for the covers and place them equidistant around the table. Make sure the chairs are clean, undamaged and stable on the floor. Once the cloth is laid, the napkins need to be folded. This would be to the establishment's requirements, although in this case we're demonstrating the cone fold. First open the napkin out lengthways in front of you. Take the bottom left-hand corner and fold it diagonally onto the right end of the centre line. Fold the bottom square onto the top triangle. Take the two points at the top right-hand corner by placing your hand inside the napkin and fold them back towards you as far as possible. Pull the base out so that it's circular. Place the napkin evenly in front of each chair and about 2.5 centimetres from the table edge. Next, line up the cutlery in line with the bottom of the napkin, as this looks neater. When moving cutlery, hold the cutlery in the middle and on the side to ensure that you leave no marks. Alternatively, use a napkin. In this case, we've set a large knife and fork and starter knives and forks, as well as a dessert spoon. Of course, you could also add a fish knife if required, or a soup spoon. Then the side plates are placed to the left with a side knife. This could be either a butter knife or a spore starter knife, in line with the other cutlery towards the right-hand side of the plate. Glassware now. First place the water glass above the large knife. Here we've placed a wine glass an inch diagonally left of the water glass. Always use a tray when carrying glassware, particularly in front of the customer, and always handle glassware by the stem to avoid finger marks. To finish off, some establishments may not put salt and pepper on the table at all. However, where they are used, ensure that they're clean, full and undamaged, and then place them where appropriate for the table size and the standards of the establishment. Lastly, place the menus on the table, either under a napkin or in the centre of the table, dependent on the establishment's style, and then add the table decoration. Then make sure that everything is in the same place and lined up across all the tables in the room.